From as early as January 2019, the Ministry of Works and Transport launched its comprehensive national desilting program. Drainage crews capitalized on the dry season to dredge and desilt hundreds of waterways across the country in preparation for the upcoming rainy season. This undertaking encompassed over 300 critical projects in North, South, East and Central Trinidad. As the country awaits the start of the rainy season, the Ministry of Works and Transport has plunged its resources into ensuring that all major watercourses and tributaries were desilted or dredged, thereby reducing the risk of flooding. Then last year, the flooding that we have has to do with the capacity of the channels and the volume of rainfall. Um, what we're trying to do is to expand the capacity as far as possible wherever we can do it. Of notable mention is the extensive wood that was completed on the Karani River. In fact, the channel was widened by approximately 3 kilometers, doubling its capacity. This increase will assist the outflow of water from areas such as the Guanapo River, the La Hocata Main Drain, the Arena River, the Greenvale Tributaries, the San Rafael River, and Carapo Ravine. While the Drainage Division has completed considerable work in your community, we all need to be responsible for the proper disposal of our waste. Illegal dumping of waste is a major cause of blockage to our water channels. We have a problem where we have a lot of dumping taking place into this water course which we actually worked on on our last desilton program 2017-2018. Um, to be more precise, we cleaned this water course about four months ago um, and we now have to come back. The Ministry um, of Water and Transport Trade Division has to come back and clean this water course. Just to say, you know, we are actually um, expending resources, limited resources that we don't have. And um, it's unfortunate that um, we, we, we have to meet a situation like this. The drainage division will continue its aggressive maintenance program, which includes the repair of floodgates across Trinidad and will keep employing mitigation measures that will ease the burden of flooding in Trinidad.